Good evening, Earth Signs. This video will be for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns for April 1st to April 7th, 2019. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Empress Bell. And um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share my videos. Okay, Earth Signs. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. So, Earth signs. I feel like you're holding back from making some sort of move or you're holding on to something. I feel like you're holding back, actually. Making a decision. Hmm. This person from your past, you want to move towards this person. Five of Swords. Almost jumped out, but the Five of Swords is a lot of slime of marks, you know, backstabbing one up into one another. So, you could be having some arguments with someone, and you feel like you won, or you feel like maybe they won. Been your past energy. Let's see what's going on for fire. I'm um, sorry, I said fire. <laughs> Earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn. Simon, Simon, Rising, and Venus, and Love. From April 1st to April 7th, 2019. So be a general reading. Take the messages as they resonate with you. You can switch them around, you know. My cards are not gender specific, so if I say king or queen, you know, that's just the energy that the person is in, all right? But I feel like you're having some regrets moving away from someone. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, like I said, you are having some regrets here with the Five of Cups, okay? You're looking at crying over spill milk, crying over a situation that you know that you can't change or you feel like you can't change, but you can because there's still love in the situation from you or the other person, okay? The King of Cups, yeah, you're wanting justice here, maybe with a Libra, okay? But you're um, not wearing your emotions on your sleeve right now or you are very emotional about this justice or injustice situation maybe you want to message someone um but i feel like you are afraid to for some reason or this person could be afraid to message you or you are going to message this person i'm feeling like you know um let's see what is the energy for her signs six of swords making a decision with the six of swords to move in, move away to move into calmer waters okay maybe move towards an air sign gemini libra aquarius but this is moving making a decision here okay two of swords okay you're you're in the decision making mode you're thinking about it okay earth sign so and you want to you're waiting for maybe the right time maybe this person has blocked you okay um or you're on a defense with someone that you live with or you feel like there is something that's in between the two of you hmm i don't know that's it. um what is hidden from her signs what's hidden chariot forward movement but needing the strength to move forward the chariot this is hidden Okay, somebody may be, may be wanting to move towards a Leo, but this is the strength card. Um, you're, this is a burden to move towards this person. Okay, you're feeling like this is a burden because you got the Ten of Wands here. You're burdened. Okay, maybe that someone moved away from you here with the Chariot. Yep. Now they have options. Yeah. Okay. Maybe your burden could be dealing with a Cancer. Ooh, the will of fortune in the reverse. So this is 
things not going in your favor okay that is an obstacle maybe something with a passion a brand new passionate creative endeavor that you may want to start with someone okay maybe to heal a situation here or lay something to rest with someone that may not go the way you think it's going to go earth signs okay let me just say that okay that might go left okay um but something may not go into your favor or um you may want a second chance but you might not get it okay because someone may have moved on already here with the chariot hmm see a lot of moving on moving forward but something's not going in your favor so what is the outcome here for earth signs Page of Swords. So you are spying on this person or you are spying or you keeping a close eye on someone, maybe checking their social media, riding past their house, you know, just keeping an eye on someone, maybe just watching them. Okay, not saying anything. Um, yeah, you're stuck in your head about this person. Uh it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's like this is like a soulmate, twin flame, no soulmate energy, or like they might have another lover. Okay, or you have another lover and you, all you can do is watch this person and it stresses you out. Okay, because you want to make an offer to this person. You want to sneak around with this person. Maybe you did sneak around and work together at some point and it was working out good. It made you happy, but it caused some type of conflict within your life. So all you do now is maybe spy on this person. Okay, Earth signs. Virgo Capricorn. We're going to clarify the Six of Swords. What do you want to move towards calmer waters? What is those calmer waters? What do you want to move away from or move towards? What does the Earth signs want to move away from or move towards? What are you moving towards? What are you moving towards, Earth signs? Victory? The Six of Wands flipped up there. Being victorious with something here. Signs. Yeah, with love, a lover, soulmate energy, something that was divinely guided. Mm. Let's see, we got a lot of flipping, jumping cards right here, Earth Signs. Hold on. Just trying to shuffle. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, let's see. Earth Signs. Something, okay, moving towards somebody fast, okay, with the Eight of Wands. It's fast act, fast movement, okay, moving right into something, not hesitating, not, not, not thinking about it, just you know what you want to do. Okay, yeah, and it's like marriage, moving right into a relationship instantly, fast, very fast, very fast movement is what you wanted, okay, with this person. Well, so you just want to move very fast, maybe into a relationship with someone. Okay, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you just want something to move fast, right? The eight, you could be communicating with this person, there's messages, text messages, back and forth, talking about stuff, you know, maybe talking about relationships or whatever. I don't know what you guys are doing. Let me clarify the six of swords. Six of swords, four earth signs, six of swords. Oh, okay. the world okay ending a cycle with someone okay you're moving fast towards ending a cycle of being stressed the hell out you're going through a transformation here so you're about to have a death of this devil energy okay so you're going towards ending a cycle of being stressed out in your head about a situation that has ended that was toxic so a cycle has ended you are moving forward now so whatever cycle you were in here with this person that was toxic, okay, with the death card it could be a Scorpio, but or you or a Capricorn, but this this situation is over, okay? Um, they don't have to be that signs, but something was toxic and it was an ending to it, okay? And it's going to be like whatever this this this, and you will be able to move forward towards your passions. So what is the world card? What kind of world? Earth signs. What kind of world? Queen of Swords, okay? Okay. Now, there is a Queen of Swords, a Libra maybe in your midst that you are having regrets about, okay? Now, you're needing the strength 
okay to talk to this person maybe from your past and they could be from your past childhood soulmate energy six of cups is here okay but you're holding back offering this person real love okay because you're having a hard time to say that you want that okay but um there is a cycle that has ended which is a lot of overthinking and negative thoughts and thinking you can't you're going to actually take charge with the queen of swords queen of swords is a no nonsense queen okay Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. I'm juggling. Going back and forth, earth signs. Do you want to work together with this person? You're just fine. <laughs> Maybe because you want to use your wand. Maybe you want a one night stand with this person. But you know that it's going to be a burden, you know, for you to even go towards it. I don't know, but it's just <laughs> you're juggling right now. Two people, two places, two ideas, two things about the queen of swords that maybe you want a new another cycle but you want to move out of conflict with this person okay that's another way of looking at it you're looking it's like you're wanting to move out of conflict with this person this queen of swords okay they cut you out you want a new cycle with this person okay and now the chariot Where about the chariot chariot is forward movement let's see Ooh. ten of swords okay sheesh that's, that, that hit the phone kind of hard. So the chariot is clarified by the ten of swords. Okay. The chariot is clarified by the ten of swords. Okay. So feeling backstabbed and betrayed that somebody moved away from you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they moved away. Yeah, this person just moved away. Earth signs. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, why did they just leave me? You want to manifest something new with this person. You know, but you want balance or equal give and take this time around. You know, but you feel like it was a missed opportunity. You wanted marriage with this person. You actually wanted to have some type of stable commitment. So let's see. With the Ten of Swords. Why are you going to back up and betray? Got a King of Wands. Okay. So this person could have been a smooth talker. You know, um, the King of Wands is here. Um, movement. This, this King of Wands also takes charge. Okay. So I feel like you you're going to take charge here with someone that you did backstab and betray. A lover, a two of cups. They're single. Yeah, could be a Taurus there, but there somebody is single, okay? And they you have love a lot of love for this person. Like it's your soulmate, and you want to go towards this person. You want to take action, even though you know. You backstabbed and betrayed him, okay, with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very passionate. It's good with his words. He could be a manipulator when he's not. Yeah. Um, yeah, you want to go make an offer. So the King, like I said, he, wanna, he takes action. So this King of Wands is going to take action, okay? Maybe to even make you an offer or you are wanting to make this person an offer. Okay, or This person moved away from you. You fell back, stabbed, and betrayed. They met a king of wands, and this person is making them an offer. Something long-term stable. You understand? So this is what's hidden from you. This is in your hidden factors. That's why I had to rewind. So this is definitely in your hidden factors. So maybe it's somebody, after this person moved away from you in their chariot, you know, they fell back, stabbed, and betrayed. And the king of wands came swooping in and is making this person an offer here. Yeah, they want to give equally here, okay, to the situation. They want to give equally, okay? Oh, man, that could be uh, for a selected few, like I said. So, so, the earth signs, we have the will of fortune. Clarify the will of fortune in the reverse for earth signs. Will of fortune in the reverse for earth signs. That's your obstacle. Will of fortune in the reverse, yes, because you are still having this conflict. You know, fighting, competition. You feel like, okay, you're holding back because you feel like you're in a competition. Okay, with the soulmate energy. You're needing a strength here because, you know, you feel as though you did something. You know, that it was that you have regrets about. Okay, whoever this person, it could be a fire sign. But it's like you have regrets about whatever you did. And, you, you know, it's only caused you conflict. Okay, not a wand. Press not a fire wand. Right. But you're not apologizing. You're not giving this person an offer. 
<laughs> you're not, like I said, the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're not apologizing about this, you know, um, to this person. They could be older or a little older than you. Okay, or you're not making an offer to this person with the page of cups in the reverse. Okay, you don't want to, it's like this is your obstacle to actually put this page of cups in the upright. Or talk nice. Page of cups in the reverse is you're not using your intuition. And that came up in the reverse, the high priestess, about this queen of wands. The king of wands is right there. This is your soulmate. You're not, your obstacle is that you're not using your intuition about this soulmate energy. You're not. It's like you're oblivious, okay? You should take this leap of faith, you know, even though you know you may have, their heart is broken right now, or you may have broken their heart, or however you want to, you know, swap it around, you guys. So the Page of Swords, what are you spying on? Page of Swords. The Three of Cups. So you're keeping a close eye. You got two threes here. Yeah, resurrect. You want to resurrect this situation with this person. You're waiting for the right time here with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. And you're watching, you know, with the three of cups, it's wanting to celebrate. This is partying. Maybe you're seeing this person partying, going out, celebrating with friends and shit. Three of cups. Three of cups. Three of cups. Or the resurrection will come. Yeah. Yeah, this will... You will be able to resurrect the relationship with this person with the emperor. But I feel like you would have to become the emperor here. Okay. Or blow up that my way or the highway type of vibe. Okay. And pick another <laughs> decision. A more fun one. That's going to make you happy and not stagnant. Okay. Pick another person or. Mm, pick, a, pick a different path. Okay. If you were a controlling type of energy. Go, stop being so controlling and let go of your control issues, okay? So the emperor, because the emperor can be very controlling. The emperor, can I the emperor? Four earth signs. Four wands in the reverse. So yeah, earth signs. I feel as though with this outcome for this situation, somebody may have had you in a third party situation and you put it to, you put an end to it. Okay, you became the emperor and you probably moved out of the home or they kicked you out of the home, something like that. Or you had somebody in a third party, y'all moved out. But at the end of the day, it was another person involved here because, like I said, at the end of all of this, you had the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been two people here. Okay, um, more like third party, two women, two men. Take the messages as they resonate with you. But um, you may have ended it with someone and may want to start something with another person but you just are unsure as well if you sh how you should go about that because they feel backstabbed and betrayed too chat let's see so many different messages okay all right really i'm gonna just stick with those ones i just gave y'all okay we're gonna see what our archangel oracle messages are for you today Right, victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, okay? So the situation is going to definitely cause you to have, to have faith that if you want to re really reunite with this person and really, you know, be with this person, don't worry. Have faith. You, if you've been praying about it hard, you will be getting your wish fulfillment in this situation, okay? So let's see. You're not prioritizing. It came up in the reverse, all right? Prioritize. It says, focus on your highest priority. I will help you get organized and motivated. Okay? Archangel Metatron. So pray to Archangel Metatron. Okay? And the bottom of the deck you have, you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Alright? So you're safe. Alright? Breathe. Relax. So you're safe. Even if you think, oh, I'll never be able to get this person you up. Okay? You're safe. Archangel Michael got you. All right. <laughs> romance angel card. New love. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right. And expressing your love. So with this new person, you want to express some sort of love to this person. 
right? We have, it is safe for you to love, okay? Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energies of all, all right? And finances and career. Financial issues may be affecting your love life right now. So, Earth Signs, that is your message, okay? Um, I hope these messages resonate with you. Make sure you like, sub like, like, subscribe, and share. Click that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.